Living in England can be quite the adventure. You've got the chance to immerse yourself in centuries of culture and history, and explore some of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. But before you start packing your bags, let's get real, not every corner of England is sunshine and rainbows. We're talking high crime rates, rampant drug abuse, poverty, unemployment, and deprivation. So, we've done you a solid and compiled a list of the top 10 worst places to live in England. Don't say, we didn't warn you. So buckle up, this video is gonna be little longer than a British queue at rush hour, as we're dealing with some seriously complex issues here. Sit back, grab a cuppa, and let's delve into the murky depths of city problems together. We promise it'll be worth it. Leicester, the city that never sleeps, unless you count the copious amounts of crime that goes on there. With around 360,000 residents, you'd think they'd be able to keep things under control, but sadly, it's the largest and most dangerous city in Leicestershire. And let's talk about their drug problem. Police seized an estimated £20 million worth of drugs, including cocaine, heroin, and cannabis, in a major raid in Leicester in 2017. That's enough to make even Scarface jealous. But despite all of this, Leicester still has a certain charm. Its cultural diversity is unparalleled, with a large Asian population and a plethora of delicious restaurants to try. Just make sure you don't get mugged or stabbed on your way to dinner. All in all, Leicester is a city of contrasts. Vibrant and exciting, but also dangerous and poverty-stricken. It's like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get, but in this case, it's probably a punch to the face. Hackney, the urban melting pot of East London, is known for its colorful communities, trendy neighborhoods, and lively culture. You'll find people from all over the world here, particularly those who hail from Africa and the Caribbean. But, like any good party, there's always a few bad apples trying to ruin the fun. Hackney is no exception, with crime rates that would make your grandma clutch her pearls. From drug busts to robberies to good old-fashioned violent crime, this place has it all. In fact, the police recently seized a whopping £2 million worth of cocaine and heroin during a major drug bust. But let's not be too harsh on them, after all, Hackney has historically been one of the poorest areas in London, with unemployment rates that would make a sloth look industrious. This place has got it all. Crime, drug abuse, poverty, you name it, it's ranked in the top 10 in England. Hackney appears to have developed an unusual affection for the deprived city label, as if it's a coveted award for being the most wretched, hopeless and impoverished urban area. Birmingham, the city that has it all. From lively music and art scenes to high rates of crime and poverty, Birmingham is truly a jack-of-all-trades. With a population of over one million people, it's like a mini-London, just with a bit less glamour and a lot more grit. But let's focus on the positives first. Birmingham is known for its vibrant culture and history. And by vibrant, we mean that the city is so alive, you might need a stab-proof vest to truly appreciate it. Digbeth and Ladywood are particularly famous for their lively nightlife, with drug-related offenses and violent crime being the main attractions for thrill-seekers. Birmingham gets gold in possession of weapons crime in UK. They also managed to snag a spot in being one of the leaders in burglary, robbery, and vehicle-related crimes. Speaking of drugs, Birmingham is also known for its thriving drug trade. In fact, Police seized over £3 million worth of drugs in Birmingham, last year alone. The city also faces significant challenges in terms of poverty and inequality. Child poverty rates are higher than average, with over a quarter of Birmingham's children living in poverty. And if you thought the job market was tough, try being a young person or from an ethnic minority background in Birmingham, where the unemployment rate is higher than the national average. Bradford, 
is a city located in the northern English county of West Yorkshire, with a population of around 530,000 people. The city has a rich history, particularly in the textile industry, and is known for its stunning architecture and beautiful countryside surroundings. But don't be fooled by the picturesque views, because Bradford has its fair share of social issues too. The city has been ranked as one of the most deprived areas in England, with high levels of poverty and unemployment. In fact, recent reports suggest that around a quarter of all households in Bradford are living in poverty, making it one of the poorest areas in the country. Crime is also a major issue in Bradford, with the city ranking among the top 10 most dangerous cities in England. Areas such as Manningham and Little Horton are particularly notorious for their high levels of violent crime and drug-related offenses. If truth be told, in 2020, police seized over £1 million worth of drugs in a single operation in Bradford, highlighting the scale of the problem. But it's not all doom and gloom in Bradford. The city has a rich cultural heritage, with a diverse population, and a thriving arts scene. And let's not forget about the famous Bradford Curry, which is said to be one of the best in the country. Liverpool, the city of the Beatles, located in the northwest of England, is known for its vibrant culture and rich maritime history. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows in this bustling city. Misappropriating public funds and corruption have been a thorn in the side of Liverpool's administration for years. Liverpool has a higher than average rate of crime, particularly in areas such as Toxteth and Kirkdale. Liverpool is second most dangerous city, having drugs-related crimes. It is also the most deprived district in England, despite an influx of regeneration cash and a government drive to reduce inequality. Liverpool also faces significant challenges in terms of poverty and inequality. The city has one of the highest rates of child poverty in the UK, with over a one-third of children living below the poverty line. The unemployment rate is also higher than the national average, particularly among young people, as their skill levels are below average. Additionally, litter and dirty streets are a common sight in many areas of the city. The public transport in Liverpool is worst. Buses are the backbone of city transport system, with 82% of all public transport journeys locally being made by bus. Unfortunately, the buses are about as reliable as a chocolate teapot. Finally, are trains still running in Liverpool? Manchester, the land of rain, chips and gravy, and an accent that can make even the most sophisticated of ears bleed. It's the third largest city in the UK, after London and Birmingham. Back in the day, Manchester was all about textiles and cotton mills. You know, back when people had actual jobs. But these days, poverty and unemployment plagues many parts of Manchester. Manchester's football teams are a matter of great civic pride, but some criticize their association with alcohol-fueled conflicts during matches. If you're planning on taking a tram or a bus, be prepared for some serious overcrowding and delays. Speaking of crime, Manchester has third highest crime rate in the UK. Cannabis remains the most common drug in city. Apparently, social media is the place to go if you're looking to score some dodgy pills. Raising awareness of perilous drug trends is crucial for the city to save lives, given the prevalence of fake prescription drugs, high potencies, and the surge in alcohol-related referrals. Welcome to Nottingham, the city where you can experience the thrill of dodging knives and avoiding drug dealers on every corner. But don't worry, we're not all doom and gloom here. Nottingham is also famous for its association with the legendary outlaw Robin Hood. Yes, that's right, the guy who stole from the rich and gave to the poor. Except, in our case, we seem to have missed the part about giving to the poor, and now around 26% of children in Nottingham live in poverty. Oops, our bad. Nottingham holds the unfortunate titles of the UK's lowest disposable income and highest poverty level, in addition to being ranked the eighth most deprived area in England.
While securing a bronze medal in possession of weapons, Nottingham managed to secure a solid fourth place in the realm of drugs-related crimes. Nottingham is a thriving city with a diverse economy. So there's a good chance that you might find a job that doesn't involve dodging drug dealers and avoiding stabbings. Blackpool, the quaint seaside town that's seen better days. It's like a time capsule of faded glory, complete with dodgy hot dogs and kitschy tourist attractions. But don't be fooled by the charm, Blackpool has a bit of a seedy underbelly. It's not uncommon to see groups of rowdy stag and hen parties stumbling down the streets. Its housing situation is so dire that even the rats have started demanding better accommodation. And with homelessness rates higher than a giraffe's neck, it's clear that the cost of living crisis has hit the town harder than a truckload of bricks. Blackpool may be the sixth most deprived city in England, but it's also the number one destination for people who love to live dangerously. With the highest rate of drug-related deaths in England and a teen pregnancy rate that would make the cast of 16 and pregnant, Blackpool is like the Wild West of the North. Blackpool may be the most dangerous major town in Lancashire, but it's also home to some of the most enterprising drug dealers, this side of the Thames. The police recently seized £400,000 worth of cocaine and cannabis, which is a sure sign that the local economy is booming. So, if you're looking for a destination that combines faded grandeur with a touch of danger, Blackpool is the place for you. Kingston-upon-Hull, or as the locals call it, Hull, is a city and port located in the East Riding of Yorkshire. With a population of 260,000, it's the fourth largest city in Yorkshire and the Humber region. But don't let those numbers fool you, because Hull is the third most deprived place in England. Yes, you heard that right, it's like winning the lottery, but in reverse. You see, Hull has faced some tough times. The infamous Cod Wars with Iceland, which devastated the city's economy by robbing them of key fishing rights. The loss of its fishing industry hit the city hard, and let's be honest, education never really mattered in the fishing neighborhoods anyway. To add insult to injury, Hull has been found to be the worst region for essential services overall, ranking second worst for schools. Ouch! Disposable incomes and healthy life expectancy are among the UK's lowest. It's like a never-ending game of limbo, but instead of going under the bar, you're just trying to stay above water. Unfortunately, prosperity has left these communities, and Hull has struggled to bounce back. But that's not all. Hull has been in the running for the title of Britain's drug capital since 2002. Recently, Hull's drug empire has taken a hit with the arrest of Alshan Adamy. In fact, earlier in 2018, police arrested a gang and uncovered £66 million worth of cocaine and heroin in Hull, which was one of the biggest drug busts in British history. Looks like Hull's claim to fame might be slipping away. Middlesbrough is a victim of its own success. You see, after the discovery of ironstone deposits, the town exploded in size and prosperity. But like all good things, it had to come to an end. Long, slow industrial decline and the closure of processing plants left the town with high levels of unemployment and poverty. It's like the universe was playing a cruel joke on them, giving them all this prosperity, just to snatch it away like a kid taking candy from a baby. More than 40% of private rented housing has been categorized as low quality, which is a fancy way of saying not fit for human habitation. And to make matters worse, Middlesbrough has become a dumping ground for refugees and asylum seekers. But unfortunately, some of the locals aren't too happy about it. They blame the immigrants for their housing problems, and before you know it, racism, bad behavior, hate crime, and vandalism are running rampant. Way to go, guys. But let's not dwell on the negative. Middlesbrough has its fair share of colorful characters, pubs, and nightclubs. There is a certain pride amongst smoggies in celebrating the roughness of borough. 
and who needs a low crime rate anyway. Crime related to drugs, possession of weapons, shoplifting, and antisocial behavior are just part of the town's charm. And if you're into criminal damage and arson, then Middlesbrough is the place for you. It's like living in a real-life episode of CSI. Oh, and did we mention that Middlesbrough is considered the worst place in the country to be a girl? The worst part about living in Middlesbrough is the prostitutes and the druggies who come to your door always asking for money. Thanks for visiting our channel. We invest considerable effort and dedication in researching, producing, and presenting content that we believe you'll love. Kindly consider subscribing to our channel to receive early access to our newest videos and updates and to support us in creating even more exceptional content for you.